Today is November 10th, uh, about 2.30 in the afternoon. The temperature is uh, warm. It's about 60, about 60 degrees, 60, maybe 65 degrees. And what we're going to do today is uh, check the sugar stores in there. We have had an unusual summer in the fact that there was very little nectar for them to get their food and so they began to eat a lot of their food. Uh, I have got some sugar on there and I just now noticed from this angle I'm able to see just an inordinate amount of yellow jackets right in there. Anyway we're going to open this up, both of these hives up, check out the uh, sugar star stores, feed them. Uh, hopefully that will be enough to last them through December. Now what I'm going to feed them with is a combination of sugar, uh, a little bit of protein, and just a, a touch of Honey Bee Healthy and then mixed up with just enough water to make it into a, into a thick paste. You can, you can see there about the consistency of, um, of wet sand. And then also what I'm going to do is I've got some just dry sugar, dry uh, white sugar. And if there are some empty cones in the frames, I'm going to take the sugar and pour the sugar into the, into the cells of the cones and then spray it with some water with, the, with a touch of Honey Bee Healthy. And it, this, this, this right here has some water with uh, a little bit of honey bee healthy in it and I'll spray that to get the uh, get the sugar that's that's in the combs themselves get that wet so that it would stay in the frames we'll take a look at it and see what we need to do but I am going to um, take a look here and see if I need to put some more stuff on here. I'm going to smoke them down here so I can try to I'm going to pull this first frame out here of the side and just check and see or how much honey stores is on this particular frame. A lot of a lot of the hives that I've checked so far, the top box, which is generally the box that they use for their honey stores through the winter, is just empty. Oh, we've got to say fight going on with a yellow jacket right there. you see that yellow? Where did the yellow jacket go? It's probably my fault that the yellow jacket got in here. But uh, notice that these, this frame here is just empty. I'm going to fill it with some sugar and I'll show you how I do that. And here's a yellow jacket right there. Let me see if I can get this baby. Oh, and here are some bees that got caught in, the, probably got caught in the yellow jacket fight. Sorry. Wish I could have come to your rescue, but uh, I can't. Alright. We'll set this aside for just a moment. And then, um, then we'll come back and we'll put some sugar in that one. I do want to check the next the next one over here. This one is just absolutely empty as well. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. Set this aside. Turn the camera around. Hopefully you can see this. I 
here's my my sugar. I've got a cup here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this over the bucket here so I don't lose as much. But I'm going to hold this at about a 30 degree angle and I'm going to sprinkle the sugar on here and it'll go into the cell cavities. some water with the um, it's got just a, a little bit of honeybee healthy in here I'm gonna spray this a little bit to get the sugar wet my goal is not really to wet the bees but get the sugar wet so it'll stay there we got us another there's just a lot of yellow jackets around here I just killed one yay Spray this to just to wet it down to hold the sugar in place. We'll put this one back in. And uh, we'll put this one back in. It looks like this frame is, I can see here, it looks like it is pretty much empty as well. Now this one does have honey on the outside, or on one side of it. This side's empty. I'm going to place this toward the center on the outside frame, but toward the center. Some of this mixture here going. This this outer cover does have does have a about a half inch depth or maybe maybe five eighths inch depth here. 